Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your love reading for um, the end of July, the 21st to the end of the month. So it's going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. You can get one directly through PayPal. Or you can go through my website, moonpytarot.com. Or you can, of course, just contact me on the Instant Go app from your iPhone and get a reading there. Those are instant, hence the name Instant Go. Um, the ones through PayPal can take up to a week because I need time to um, record the video and upload it to you. Uh, just all that information is down there. Okay, so love reading, right? Oh, stuff's popping out. Now, I don't pull these weeklies in reverse line clarification cards. Oh, my goodness. Um, what do I want to say to you? Yeah, so this is a love reading. So I know some of you aren't with anyone and you're just looking to see if someone will come in. If that shows up, I'll tell you. If not, this could resonate something to do with like a family member or, or a friend that you, you know, that there's love. Love doesn't always have to be romantic. Okay. Um, so let's see what the energies are going on here. So my, my new setup, I've moved and I had to just kind of rearrange things. Um, okay, I'm just going to pull. Mm. Oh, interesting. Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, Three of Wands, Six of Swords, Temperance, and the Ace of Pentacles. Doesn't want to stay. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see it. Okay. Um, All right. Already, Virgo. Now, <laughs> you guys, if you check my in my if you're a subscriber to my channel in my community uh, section, sometimes I'll post things there. And what is the one of the things that I brought up was the earth signs and the water sign connection. And especially uh, I put uh, Virgo and Scorpio. So, um, here we have the Queen of Cups. This could be male or female. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I feel like it always comes up like that when it comes to uh, Virgo. So some of you Virgos, again, are dealing with Scorpios or were or could be. Um, but this Queen of Cups here, I'm picking up. Judgments in reverse here. So there are a, a lack of truth that's happening here with this person. This person's energy comes through as someone who is not being open, not being truthful, not being honest. Okay. Or they have truths they're not revealing. This can also be a lack of reconciliation with someone either to get the truth or to uh, reconcile a relationship or to try to make something right or better or fix, repair, that kind of energy. Look, when you look at this card, you can see everyone that's just coming out. It's judgment day. Truths are being said, honest, you know, uh, good things, bad things, whatever it is, however it is, it, it's full exposure. And in the reverse, it, that's a, there's a delay. So, so somebody could, you could be dealing with someone who is delaying, coming out in the open. Now, Virgo, this could also be your energy. The Queen of Cups is, is, she's very watery, he or she. You know, very nurturing, loving, warm, caring, intuitive, that kind of energy. But something is not being revealed. You may not be revealing something to someone. Page of Swords is over top of this Queen of Cups here. This is a truth telling card. So let's talk in the case where it's not you and this is someone else that you're dealing with. Someone's not coming to tell you the truth that they're absolutely like one on one with you on the same page. This person does feel that the two of you are like-minded individuals. Okay. This isn't necessarily, this is the, it's a two in the cup suit. 
So this is kind of like a meeting of the minds. This is two people. See how they mirror each other here? The only difference is that it looks as if the male in this picture is offering. He's in movement where she is not. It looks like he has his hand that he's reaching out wanting to take this cup. So you're dealing with someone or there is someone for you singles someone from your past that you were dating or someone that you, you know, you're involved with now, whatever the case may be. I feel like this person wants to be honest with you and tell you that this is truly how they feel about you. This can be the soulmate card and soulmates. I like to say, um, sometimes I'll get requests for readings and, and people will say, well, I feel this person is my soulmate slash twin flame. Well, they don't go together. Soulmate energy. We have a lot of soulmates. We have friends who are soulmates. We have family, specific family members who are soulmates. We have lovers who are soulmates. Soulmate relationships are the ones that we learn and grow from. If we're open to that. Twin flame relationships, from my experience and in my studies and from my mentors, I have always been taught that twin flame relationships are quite rare. They happen, but they're rare. Um, soulmate relationships are not necessarily the type of relationships that you get into and then they end. They can last always, but they're on two different planes. And I feel like the two of the, the lovers, the lovers might be for me more of, um, that twin flame where the decision has been made to be together. This is where two people come together and they realize they have a lot in common, but it's a healing relationship. Can you see? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what that's called right here. It looks like, looks like two snakes. It's usually a symbol of health. And so I do feel like the connection that you have with this water sign person is healthy but for some reason, this person is not revealing to you how they feel, even though they want to. And this person could be watching you, spying, um, talking to other friends or other people about the connection that the two of you tr truly have. And the Page of Swords can be conversation text messages, phone calls, it's communication. And I always feel like with the page, it can be text messages or letters or things like that. So they're holding back. They're holding back their truths. The six of swords can sometimes talk about a situation where you see all the water at the bottom there on the bottom, right? That water is choppy a bit tumultuous it's a little chaotic and I feel like the person that you're dealing with wants to try to get to a calmer place and it, it the six of swords to me is is it's not necessarily a decision card it's like being thrust into a calmer place and I I do get a sense that that's what this person wants but for some reason they can't tell you how they feel about you. They may feel that they'd be rejected or judged harshly. That kind of energy. And hey, you're a Virgo. So Virgos do have a tendency. You're not the only one in, in the Zodiac to do that. But Virgos do have a tendency to just, they mean well, but they just see those, they see truths like no other sign in the zodiac and they they can see right through the clouds and bullshit they'll call it right on the spot gemini's like that too but that's because of the the mercury the mercurial influence of both of those signs um so i feel like this person does want to get out of this situation this is a card sometimes of fear where it's it's fearful for them to move 
because of what I was just saying, but they, I do see that they want that. And I do see with the three of wands here that this person is looking for expansion, you know, and in a sense, waiting, maybe waiting to hear from you, maybe to Virgo, this water sign is waiting to hear from you for you to come toward them and express that the two of you are a thing or that you feel connected to them. But I don't feel like they're going to be able to, at least during this time period, make that move or send those messages or move forward. I, I almost feel like they're waiting for you to do it. They're waiting. Somebody's waiting on you. And you have temperance here, which is a card about, for me, emotional balance because of the cups. Finding peace and harmony. So we've got two cups here. And this is a sharing of emotion back and forth. We have two cups here. Some of you could also, so you could be dealing with water. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. Um, and I feel like this person is seeking peace and harmony and balance with you. I feel like that's what really that they want overall. You see how similar I always, I like to compare the cards sometimes the similarity between the two of cups and temperance because the two of cups is an exchanging of openness and filling each other's cup. And then I feel like this person wants to balance out that emotional energy. They want to give, they want to fill your cup, but there's definitely a fear of rejection here or a fear of coming forward and expressing how they feel or telling you the truth or, you know, revealing themselves. They're very closed off. So let me pull some clarifying cards. I really don't feel 100% the need to do that, but I will. Um, usually I'll just clarify. I want to clarify temperance. What is, I want to see if we can get a little bit more information with temperance. This person you're dealing with is not a player. And they have fear. The Knight of Wands in the upright is usually someone who comes in with all this passionate energy and then they're out as quick as they came in. In the reverse, um, I do feel like there's a sexual attraction, but it's delayed. Uh, there is a fear of coming out into the open. Like I was saying, I mean, this reading is just so forthright at this point. The sun is always a card about positivity and revealing. And I feel like they want to reveal to you that there is something here between the two of you, but something happened, which has got them closed off to you. You may need to find a way to find peace and harmony. If they're waiting to hear from you, you may need to be the one to balance things out. Somebody could be waiting for, I feel like this came up in the two week, the 10 days prior reading. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, so I just kind of feel like there's a delay. There's a bit of fear. I don't feel like they're really, they have that player energy. I don't feel like that's, you may feel that way about them or they may feel that you're that way, but you're not with the Knight of Wands reversed because in the upright he is or she is or the, the, someone has that energy of just coming in and having sex and then leaving, you know, uh, or, you know, for some of you, this person you're dealing with, they may want that. They may want to have a sexual connection with you. This is heart and mind. This is sex. So they may want to have that, but maybe they fear that you'll reject them. Maybe, you know. Hey, even players get rejected. So, you know. 
So let me see what else I can clarify here. I mean, I do see that there's going to be some type of offer that will come in for you. Or you're going to reach out. Somebody's going to reach out and offer something huge. Something stable. Something real. Um, that may reveal to the other person that this is a tangible, strong thing. They might offer you money. Um, they'll be holding their hand out with something solid. Six of uh, swords reversed now. I don't think this person wants this connection to end. I feel like they want you to come toward them. I feel like they want to put themselves in a position to receive from you. And I feel like some type of an offer will come in. There could be some type of communication in some sense, like solid truth. Not necessarily. Tr it's not like solid, truthful communication, but it's communication that will make you trust. And I don't feel like they, I feel like if it's you who offers something to them or tries to repair, heal, put back in balance a relationship, I don't feel like they're going to go anywhere. Or if it's them coming to you, which I really don't feel like that's the case. I feel like it's going to have to be you. I mean, for some of you, it could be. You may, this, this connection with this person may at times be emotionally chaotic. And I actually think that it's challenging and intriguing at the same time. Yeah, the Hierophant in the reverse here. This is like a rebellion card. And this is not com not staying committed to something. And I kind of feel like this person may just decide if this connection, if it doesn't, if, if something doesn't, if someone doesn't reach out to the other person, it's done. At least that's what's going on with them currently. But I do see that happening towards the end of this time period. What is this three of wands? Yeah. I feel like this person wants you to take a risk. Okay. So the messages is are opposite Virgo. If this is your energy here, if you're fearful to reveal how you truly feel, if you're fearful to communicate how you truly feel about this person for whatever reasons, this page of swords can sometimes be arguments. So maybe they're, Maybe there's a fear of an argument of some sort, but I, I feel like you may need to take a risk and reach out to this person. Not even think about it. Or they you. But somebody's going to have that. Somebody's going to be communicating. Somebody will communicate perhaps that there was fear in this relationship that it was chaotic and there's a desire to solidify things, try to get on solid ground, start over. There's potential here with you and this other person, whether you're dealing with a water sign or not, whoever you may be dealing with the person you're dealing with though is very emotional. I mean, still waters run deep. This person is very, very, has a lot of emotional depth. And they do tend to keep themselves, their emotions cut off from others. They do tend to hide their feelings. I'm just going to clarify the Hierophant. And I think, Virgo, you know this. Even if you're not dealing with a water sign, I think you know this. And I think the reason why, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpios and Virgos, or at least Virgos and Pisces, Virgos and Cancers, 
it all they you all tend to hide your feelings earth signs are more sensual than they are feelings feeling emotional the more they're more sensual um and virgo this could be you because this is an earth sign card this could be you making some type of an offer but you you both you know you and the water sign do tend to hide the emotions even though you you both do know how you feel water signs just usually don't say anything they're not they're not the biggest communicators they're not the best communicators virgos are but they don't communicate their emotions often it's usually something more formal or more practical in their communication more straightforward Okay, this person doesn't want this situation to end. Tower card reverse. They're not ready for, they don't, they can't deal with any shocking type of, it, shocking stuff really just throws them off. Even though it's intriguing to some degree because it really, it does something to them, but it's, they don't want at this point with you to be in, a chaotic mess, a chaotic, because what happens here, <coughs> excuse me, is that when the tower card hits, everything just crumbles and falls to pieces. And then there's just debris everywhere. And it's a mess. This is like the nine 11 card. There's suffering, you know, they don't want that. They don't want that. I don't feel like they want you to rebel from them. It's a, it's a, a conflicted relationship to some degree but for some reason you both are on the same page there's an understanding here this is not a card about decision two of cups is not a card about two people who uh, say uh, analyze the situation say okay let's be together no this is a card about you both come together and it's like you feel like you've known each other there's an understanding and there's healing and that's why it's a, a karmic relationship because it has potential for healing growth this is like the medicine card this is like the card of the doctor of love so virgo you could be dealing with someone who's very healing and that could that could be very difficult for you because you're kind of forced to look at yourself about things and this other person virgos are healers also and they're always in service virgo and so many virgo people i know are healers or doctors or nurses or in some type of civil duty or social duty you know and so this i do feel like this relationship this connection with this person even if someone new coming in it it's 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 such a huge like you're turned around from the inside out with this person you're forced to grow with this person and there could be a lot of disconnect with them because of this it, healing can be painful but you both help each other to grow <clears throat> you know whether this is a male or a female some of you virgos this could be your mother You, some of you could be, you know, taking a look at your relationship with your mother during this time, whether she's here or not. Some of you, your mother's coming through to me if she's not alive anymore. Um, there's things that she may reveal to you in the future about your relationships. You may get communication from her in your sleep or dreams or things might start to show up about your parents' relationship or things that you didn't know that you may be always questioning why you have difficulty in your marriage or relationships or things like that. And, and things may start to become clear, start coming out very slowly, begin to be revealed to you spiritually that may actually help to heal you or give you an understanding. 
So let's take a look. I know that was deep. Let's take a look at your um, love guidance messages from the Romance Angels. A lot of you have been asking me about this deck, this shiny holographic deck. Um, so you can get, I keep forgetting to tell everyone and put it in the, the maybe I'll just make a video about it. You can get it online. Um, I don't, I can't tell you the name because it's written in uh, Mandarin and I don't read that. So just Google holographic tarot deck, China, and it'll come up. I believe someone put, I don't know her name. I pinned it in, I think the Libra, the last Libra reading, um, she has she had all the access to where you can get the deck but anyway i'll make a video for it forget this all right so what are the love messages for virgo guidance and love messages for virgo finances and career how typical so financial issues are a factor in your love life right now Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, you may have, for some of you, this person may be offering to help you financially as well, okay? But I also want to say, Virgo, if you've blocked yourself from someone for whatever the reason is, and you've just dove into your work, you, some of you may be having trouble at work because of something to do with this emotional connection with this person that is affecting your work life right now. Um, some of you, if there was a break, you may be having trouble concentrating on work. Some of you may be meeting this person at work who's going to make a huge change. This is a very karmic connection and you're going to learn a lot from this person. Um, but if you're hiding in your work because you don't want to heal from something or something happened that this person you may have found out, found out and they didn't reveal to you, I feel like you need to start taking a look at that or messages that could be coming through. There might be something in this connection that because I feel like you and this other person are very similar and it, like I said you mirror each other your reflection of each other something they did is something maybe you were doing and and that's not for everybody okay if, because I'm saying if you have someone who's been hiding that they've been cheating and you haven't that then that message is not for you it's only for those who are recognizing themselves in the other person. And maybe instead of being too harsh on that person, give them an opportunity to maybe try to reveal themselves to you without judgment, <coughs> without being harsh. And, and if you're cross watching for your Virgo, give your Virgo the opportunity because they're learning as well. And they're trying to have the very same thing you want. It's just for them, these truths are hard to handle. These truths are hard to recognize and this and the same for Virgo, for you listening, you Virgo. Okay. So I feel like I, honestly, I could sit here for a half an hour and do more messages um, because a lot of stuff's coming to me, but I, I can't put it all I did see Archangel Guidance. I love her. She will sit there for an hour, two hours and go through her messages. And I wish I had the time to do that. I just could sit there. I put her on. Definitely listen to her. She's great. And she's actually in the Philadelphia area where I am. So she's wonderful. And if you listen to her, like you could put her on right before you go to sleep. And believe me, she doesn't put you to sleep. But it's just so great to listen to her. She's very spiritual and her messages are so wonderful. And I don't, you know, often go around. This is not a plug. I mean, you're going to like who you like. Um, but if I had the time to sit for two hours, I would. And uh, that's why I try to just pump out as many videos as I can each. But again, you know, if you want to get a personal reading or if, you need, if this resonates, you need more information. Description box below has all of that. All right. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in August. All right. Take care. Bye.